Hi everybody. In this video we're going to learn how to apply textures to cubes. The cube on the right has the same texture on all its sides and this Minecraft cube has different textures on different sides. So let's see how this works. So I put all my textures in a textures folder. I have my bark PNG, I have my grass side PNG, and I have my grass top PNG. So these are going to be my textures for the two cubes. Let's look at cube one. Cube one has all sides with the same texture. So I'm creating a new instance of a texture loader. So constant texture loader is equal to new 3.texture loader. And then I'm going to load the bark image and store it in texture cube one. So texture cube one is equal to texture loader dot load. And I'm loading it from this path, the textures folder, and this is the file name. Okay, now I'm going to build my cube using my geometry and material. So const cube one is equal to new 3.mesh. This is my geometry, new 3.box geometry, and it's one unit long, wide, and tall. And then my new 3 mesh standard material. And instead of using a color, I am going to use the texture that I loaded up here. So I'm mapping texture cube one. I'm mapping this texture. So what does that mean? I'm assigning the texture to this material.map property, and that describes how the color varies on the object surface. And that's all there is to it, to making a cube have the same texture on all the sides. It's a little bit more complicated when we want different textures on different sides. Okay, so here's cube three, the Minecraft cube, where it has a different texture on the top than the sides. I'm creating my cube geometry first. Cube three geometry is equal to new three box geometry, one unit long, one unit tall, and one unit wide. And now I'm going to pass in my material. My material is going to be an array of images for all six sides. So here I have const texture cubes is equal to open array bracket. And now I'm going to load my textures for all six sides. So for each side, I'm saying new three dot mesh standard material. And I'm saying map texture loader dot load and I'm loading each different texture. I have the grass side that's going to be on five sides of the cube and on the top of the cube I have grass top. So for the cube for six sides we need to know which side is which so we need to know the coordinate system. So here's a map of the coordinate system so the screen is on this side so this is how we're mapping each texture to all six sides of a cube. Right, the bottom side of the cube is minus y the top side of the cube is plus y, the left side of the cube is minus x, and the right hand side of the cube is plus x. Far side of the cube that we can't see is minus z, and the side of the cube that we can see is plus z. I'm mapping this texture that I'm loading to that side of the cube, and this is the x positive side. That's going to be the right hand side first. I'm saying this image will be mapped to the z negative side of the cube. Okay, so I'm just creating an array for all six images for all six sides. And then to create my cube three, I'm just passing in my geometry and my material. My material is this array, this texture cube three, to create a texture for all six sides of the cube that can be different. And that's all there is to creating a textured cube. 